<sighs> ah, editing with Magic Editor. So how do you like that picture? How about that springtime yellow tree called the Tababuya? I love those trees. They don't last long, but when they're out, they are just phenomenal. And notice how nice and blue the sky is and how dramatic this photo. That is the photo I took. That is the original photo. And I love that tree so much. I said, I want to make this photo more dramatic, prettier. You do that with Magic Editor and I want to show you. So, and this is the same on, on Android or iPhone, as long as you're using Google Photos. This is an editing feature of Google Photos. Here is that picture. And it's, you know, yeah, okay, that's a tababuya tree in bloom, but it's just not as good as I want it to look. You tap edit first. And then Magic Editor is a special tool in Edit. It's this one right here that's changing colors. That little button is Magic Editor. And it investigates the picture and says, well, what do you want to do? I'll bet a lot of you have heard of Magic Eraser, right? Magic Eraser, well, that's all it does. It will erase items in the picture. Magic Editor will also erase items in the picture, but then it will do a lot more. So first, I do want to erase these telephone poles in the background. It says circle, brush, or tap to select. So I'm going to, okay, it's highlighted that. I want to add more to the selection. I'll highlight that. And maybe even that. Okay, so now I have highlighted First, I'm getting rid of stuff I don't want in the picture. I tap done, I'm done selecting, and erase. And it thinks about it a minute and it, it works. And the next item, so I'll check mark on that. Now see, the magic editor icon is still there. So it's saying, well, do you want me to do some more with this? I tap the magic editor and stylized. Stylized is what will make the sky bluer and the flowers yellower and make it a more dramatic photo. And it gives you different choices. I like that second one. And it will even really stylize it, making it look like uh, artwork. But I like that one. I tap the check mark and then I save a copy. Now, what if you say, okay, I want to do that. And you open up a picture, you tap on Magic Editor, you tap on it again, and you don't get the stylized option. Take a look at these. None of the, oh, the middle one has stylized and that's all. This is AI. So AI is looking at the picture and saying, what might I do with that picture? The first one, it says, well, I might make the sky better or I might make it look like a sunset golden hour or I might like make the water look better. In the second picture, there is no water, there is no sky. So it only offers you stylized. In the third picture, it doesn't offer you stylized, but it does offer you portrait. That's because there are people's faces in it. So let me, let me go to that one that has people's faces in it. I tap on edit. I tap on magic editor, the special button. And I tap on it again. There's nothing I want to delete from this picture. So I just tap on magic editor again and choose portrait meaning make our faces stand out more than anything else. Notice how the background got a little blurry. And you have, you have a few choices here. The middle one has the background even blurrier. If you wanna see, well, what's the difference between this and the original? 
that's this little button right here. If I hold on that, now I'm looking at my original photo. I let go, I'm looking at the Magic Editor edited one. I do think that one looks better, don't you? You know, so Magic Editor is something to use if you just, if you took a picture that you really like, but you want it to be even better. You want it to be more dramatic. So I checkbox and I save copy. They don't see that. Oops. I tap to check and I save copy. And now just one last thing I want to show you is that it has recorded the fact that this photo was manipulated with AI. If I swipe up and look at the information, notice, notice down here under all info, credit, edited with Google AI. So I, it's, it's not front and center, but if you ever need to know if a photo has been manipulated in Google Photos with the AI, with the Magic Editor, it is now part of the metadata of, of the photo. For this picture, I think we should be closer together. Edit, Magic Editor, I'll tap on Jim. Oops, that just got his hand, so I need to refine the selection and add there. Now I can touch and hold. No, I have to say done now that I've added more area. I don't want to erase him. Touch and hold and move him over and do it. I like it. I tap check mark and save a copy. For this one, I want the horse on the hill to be bigger. Edit, Magic Editor, tap the horse, touch and hold, and then this can be really tricky. I need to get two fingers on that horse in order to make it bigger. There, I got it. It can be done. And that's good. I say do it. But Magic Editor can do more. Notice that after I tap the check mark, I still have the Magic Editor button. So that's saying there's more that it could do with this. It can make adjustments to the sky. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Or that one. Or that one. So it gives me a few, and I can even tap to get more results, but I like that one. Check mark, save a copy. And I've saved the coolest one for last. This is a picture of a banyan tree in my neighborhood that I just think is special. Magic Editor, and I don't want to move anything around, so I'm going to tap Magic Editor again. And notice how it offers me stylized. What is that? It turns it into a work of art with several different choices. Wow. And I could even get more choices. Oh, I like that one. With It turned that one hard root into a little waterfall. So I'll check mark and save a copy. Play around with Magic Editor. It's fun.